and, of course, to you, the audience, who have come in such great numbers. Um, uh, before we bring the night to an end, we're going to remember the great poet Seamus Heaney, who died all too soon last week. Fiona will read the, uh, the poem Postscript, and then it's time for one last song, The Parting Glass. Uh, joining our singers on stage will be a very special group brought together by Gary Dunn at the London Irish Centre. Now, they've never sung together before, uh, but with these London Irish voices, we celebrate the deep roots and great, great contribution of the Irish community in Britain. Thank you so much. Good night. Um, just to say, whenever um, Seamus would start a poetry reading, he often began with a phrase he had heard in his childhood, which was, whatever you say, say nothing. <laughs> My voice has been doing that all evening. <laughs> but this poem he wrote in a drive with the playwright Brian Friel, they and their wives, drove out west, and I feel you can hear his voice telling us to do the same. And sometime, make the time to drive out west into County Clare, <laughs> along the flaggy shore, in September or October, when the wind and the light are working off each other, so that the ocean on one side is wild with foam and glitter, and inland, among stones, the surface of a slate grey lake is lit by the earthed lightning of a flock of swans. Their feathers rough and ruffling, white on white, their fully grown, headstrong looking heads, tucked or cresting or busy underwater. Useless to think you'll capture it or park. You are neither here nor there, a hurry through which known and strange things pass as big, soft buffetings come at the car sideways and catch the heart off guard and blow it open. And of all the money that e'er I spent I spent it in good company And of all the harm that e'er I've done Alas, it was to none but me and If I had the money that e'er I spent And leisure time to sit a while There is a lass in this town That surely has my
Ladies and gentlemen, Philip King.